Welcome to Unreal Basics. Widget binding and why to avoid it. If we bind widget variables, we have advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are they are easy to implement, less code to write, and the disadvantage is performance. However, if we don't bind and use custom events, then the advantages are performance, and the disadvantages are there are slightly more code required to implement. Now we can take a look in Unreal Engine and demonstrate why we want to avoid binding. I have created a health widget using a simple progress bar. In the graph, we have a binding function to update health. I have also created a custom event which will also update health but only when required. In the player controller, I have added two key inputs which add and subtract from the player's health so we can see this changing. First, we will take a look at binding. In this example, I have bound percent in the progress to our function. We will disconnect our custom event so we know it's not doing anything at the moment. Now run the project and you will see that our bound function is constantly being called. It is in fact being called once per frame. This is obviously not optimal and takes CPU time to process. You can see this by the print string constantly printing to the screen. Now we will unbind our percent variable and reconnect our custom event. This will allow us to only update the health widget when the value changes. Now we can run again and see the results of our changes. Notice the progress bar is still changing as we require, but we are only making one call to the CPU and only when the health changes. This saves on CPU time and stays true to an event-driven methodology. Now our CPU can spend more time processing our gameplay and graphics. So our takeaway is that for fast design and results, binding might be a good option. Looking further ahead though, it becomes obvious that setting a widget value only when required yields the same result but gives better performance in the long run.